there is a 97.6% chance of failure. Never tell me the odds. Hey, that's my line, you son of a- Are you a rebel with the cause to take out the Empire? Then get your Rogue One Black Series figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Rogue One Star Wars The Black Series Captain Cassian Andor and K2SO six scale figures by Hasbro. Black Series packaging. We have a cool picture of the uh, characters on the front right here with a big old warning label for Cassian Andor. Warning you want to choke on Cassian because he's a rebel without a cause, and the cause is to make you choke. Back here has the bio of each character. An accomplished uh, Alliance intelligence officer with combat field experience, Captain Cassian Andor commands respect from his rebel troops with his ability to keep a cool head under fire and please mission with minimal resources. A reprogrammed Imperial security droid now loyal to the Alliance K2SO is an alarming side standing with a secret rebel base. The problematic droid is an effective insertion agent and he can blend in perfectly Imperial installations and outposts. And here we got the figures out of the packaging. Here we got Cassian. This is his EADU look. Adu, I, I think that's a planet. This is one of two looks that we're getting from him. He has this really nice headgear with like goggles, like a walkie-talkie type of device. Just like the Jin Urso, the sculpt is pretty good, but the paint apps uh, leave a little to desire. You can see a little bit of likeness to the actor that uh, is portraying him. One thing that is cool, just like Jin, you can remove his helmet and see his hair. Looks actually pretty good without the helmet. I really like it. Part of me prefers to leave the helmet off. The rest of the code reminds me a lot of Han and Luke's look from uh, Hoff in uh, Empire Strikes Back. I really love the paint apps on here. Really nice detail, especially on the belt. The detail is actually really, really nice. Hasbro did a really great job on the gloves. He has his, one of his pistols that fits nicely in this holster right there. Really nice paint apps all the way around. Even his pants have this really thick looking material. Even the paint apps on his buckles. Like I said, I wish the paint apps on the head match more about the body. For articulation, Cassian's head can mostly rotate. His chin does hit like the part right here of the coat. Uh, it can go back that much. Can go down a lot, which is pretty good. His arms can fully rotate. He go in and out that much. Bend at the elbow about 90 degrees and rotate at the elbow. Rotate at the wrist as well as go in and out. He does rotate at the waist right here and just pivot forward and back a little bit side to side. His legs can go forward that much. This outfit does hinder it a little bit, but it's a little bit more pliable and can go in and out that much. Uh, rotate at the upper part of the leg a little bit. Bit, but not too much because of the whole story it can on this leg a little bit more. Ben's at two points at the knee and his ankles can pivot forward and back and he has a nice ankle pivot side to side. Besides the removable headgear, Cassian uh, comes with two different pistols. He comes with this kind of Han Solo DL44 looking pistol and he comes with this more standard issue one. The paint apps on this one are a little bit better. I know this. It does look really cool. I do love the sculpt on that. I just wish this one had more paint apps like this one does. You can give him a dual wielding pistol pose if you want to. Now I'm really loving the sculpt on K2SO. He looks freaking awesome. The sculpting on this is really awesome. This guy he has the imperial symbol but yet it's kind of like worn which is really awesome since he's more for infiltration. He's like reprogrammed by the rebels. You can see all the different paint apps and sculpt. It's just really nice. I really love like the little orange right there. He has some really cool articulation too that goes with his uh, joints which really work even though he can be a little bit top heavy which I'll show here in a bit. But yeah he's a really tall uh, droid too which I really like. For articulation K2SO's head can fully rotate on this joint. He has two joints where uh, this one is on the ball joint right here that can rotate pivot side to side forward and back and that has the next joint that can make him go down a little bit more and forward and back and side the side which is awesome arms can fully rotate they can't they can go in and out that much which is awesome they bend 90 degrees at the elbow and rotate at the elbow they do rotate at the wrist as well as go in and out which is awesome he rotates at the diaphragm right here he can pivot forward and back and a little bit side to side his hips uh, do go forward that much and back and they can go in and out that much but you have to be careful because the way he's top heavy and his ankles he can fall over a little easy and he bends uh, 90 degrees at the knee and he does rotate 
at the knee and he does pivot forward and back at the ankle as well as ankle pivot side to side. Cassian is a slightly under six inches tall where K2SO is a little over seven and a quarter inches tall. They're in great scale with other Star Wars Black Series figures like Jin Erso as well as Marvel Legends like Captain America. Overall I'm really happy what Hasbro is doing with their Star Wars Black Series figures especially for Rogue One. The pros are they are definitely really nicely detailed uh, for the price and with Cassian gets quite a bit of accessories and the articulation on these guys are really awesome minus not having double jointed elbows. The only cons with these figures is that uh, with K2SO he doesn't have any accessories and he is a little bit top heavy so he can't fall over a little easier and with Cassian his paint apps on his head could be a little bit better but I'm pretty happy with these guys. If you've been collecting the Star Wars Black Series figures these are definitely must-haves to build your team. You can get them right now for about $20 each at BigBadToyStore.com link is in the description. I'm really excited to see both of these guys in the Rogue One. I definitely plan to get Hot Toys versions of both of these, but if you're a 6 inch collector or can't afford Hot Toys, these are definitely the ones to go and I highly recommend them. For more, check out my website at SeanXLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, may I live long and love life. The captain says you are a friend. I will not kill you. Thanks! He also says that he wants to be more than a friend. Uh, I'm a rebel. I don't listen to machines. Aww. I'm Batman and it's so damn hot. Uh, this coat was a bad choice.